My biggest pet peeve the last four years has been people speaking outside their depth confidently. We found a 20... 2.5% increase in Alzheimer's in the vaccinated, probably due to this brain spike. <sighs> Yo. Yo, anytime you see that white boy talking, just know it's some dumb stuff. He's paid a lie by the McCullough Foundation, which made over $50 million during the pandemic, selling dumb stuff, snake oil supplements based on lies. Anyway, let's get into it. I'm talking about any. Study in South Korea sought to investigate the association between COVID vaccination and onset Alzheimer's and mild cognitive impairment in those 65 and older. It's kind of like doing a study on people sitting next to a swimming pool or who more likely to get wet, but whatever. Look at the National Health Insurance Service data for the elderly in Seoul, Korea on diagnosis of Alzheimer's and mild cognitive impairment after vaccination. The result from 519,000 vaccinated 65 and up and 38,000 unvaccinated was substantially higher incidence rates of diagnosis of mild cognitive impairment and onset Alzheimer's in a vaccinated group at three months post injection. Sounds scary, right? We finna get in that right now. Now at this point the paper, the author started making wild guesses that don't make no biological sense at all. Let me help y'all out. Increase mainly due to vaccinated people being more likely to be evaluated for other health conditions more. You see this all over the world. The more likely you are to get vaccinated, the more likely you are to get a professional medical opinion about your health. Bear in mind we're talking about a population of 65 years of age and older. Age in and of itself is a factor in the increased risk of mild cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's. So are comorbidities like diabetes. Studies show significantly higher ratios for Alzheimer's and mild cognitive impairment for those with diabetes and high cholesterol respectively. Let me tell you what it ain't though. This brain spike production, brain inflammation that is causing brain damage. What? So stupid. There is no brain inflammation, brain damage, or brain spike from COVID vaccination. Shots give it intramuscularly through your deltoid. It don't make it to your head. To get brain spike, the lipid nanoparticles have to leave a drain lymph node into your lymphatic vessels, into your superior vena cava, and into your heart through the right atrium. Leave your heart through the arteries and somehow dodge your spleen, liver, and kidneys. Continue in the blood while being degraded by enzymes. Reach the brain, then get through the blood brain barrier with horrible formulation and zero ligand modifications. Just flash a smile and a pack of Mentos. Transfect glial cells and neurons. Release mRNA from the endosome into the cytosol with no membrane fusion because the acidity in the bloodstream already ionized the lipids and get translated by ribosomes into amino acids, then get folded into full-length spike instead of just having the spike antigen presented on the MHC molecules. Nice, son. Anatomy and physiology, baby. 